Okay guys, for this recipe you will need 3 eggs, 6 ounces of self freezing flour, 6 ounces of caster sugar, 6 ounces of butter, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 4 ounces of icing sugar and 2 fresh lemons. Okay, so first I am just breaking the 3 eggs. I like to put them in a separate bowl just in case I get any shell in so I don't have to hook it out of the mixer. Then I just add my weights and pour in the self raising flour. Then I pour that into the mixer and start measuring out my caster sugar. Tipping that in as well. And then I'm measuring out my butter. I will cut this into smaller chunks before I put it in the magic mix. You really do not want to put it in in these massive chunks because it just will not break down or if it does, you're very lucky. Popping the butter into, then I'm just zesting one lemon and mixing that all up together. If you get any flour on surfaces or some mixture that hasn't quite mixed in around the outsides, just do what I'm doing here and then mix it for a short time after that. Now my mixture is completely done, I am just going to take off the lid here and butter my baking pan thing. I think this is meant for a loaf more than cake but that's what I'm going to use anyway because that's kind of the shape I want my cake to be. Then I'm just pouring the mixture in, you want to try and make sure you don't get any up the sides because if you get any thinner areas up the sides they will burn and then also the cake can rise up over those so you'll have burnt bits of cake sort of embedded in the rest of your cake which you don't want. Also a tip which I didn't do here and regretted it but I did it the next time I made this, yes it was that good, is to dip it in the middle so that when it rises it doesn't rise up quite as much. Set your oven at 180 degrees C for 30 to 45 minutes. You can adjust this depending on the heat of your oven. Weigh out the 4 ounces of icing sugar. Then put this in a bowl and set it to the side. Cut your two lemons in half because we're going to juice them. I'm using a juicer for this part but you can easily just squeeze this into the icing. However, I prefer not to do this because you get pips and that whatever the texture of the lemon is made up of in your icing. However, you can get rid of that by putting it through a sieve before you put it over your cake. Now when I mix this, it's not going to look like icing, it is going to be very 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 liquidy and that is what you want, you do not want this to look like icing, it's not really icing, it's just to sweeten the lemon and you have to use icing sugar because it's super fine so you won't get any gritty texture. Okay so my cake's done and I'm just going to take that out of the oven. Then I'm going to skewer holes in it so that when I pour the lemon drizzle over the top it will all seep in. Try not to do it like I did it here however, the second time I did it I spooned it slowly over the top which worked better. This meant that the edges were a little bit too lemony and the centre not lemony enough. So if you spin it over the centre it works better. Then I'm going to put it in this gorgeous antique bowl that I have had my whole life and I'm just popping my cake in it. It looks absolutely freaking delicious. It really was amazing, super delicious and the, t the texture of the cake was incredible. Really, really gorgeous and I highly recommend you guys try this recipe. It really isn't that hard to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did and leave me in the comments you have for suggestions below. Bye guys!